The Use and Misuse of Antipsychotics and Psychotropics In our country and worldwide, there is a tremendous overuse and misuse of antipsychotic and psychotropic drugs to treat people living with dementia. Dr. Al Power, an international dementia expert, says that over-medication of people with dementia is not simply a problem in nursing homes, it is a community-wide problem that reflects broad societal views. Antipsychotic medications are highly potent drugs that work in the brain to block certain chemicals that can cause symptoms of psychosis, such as hallucinations and delusions. These drugs are most often used with mental illnesses like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, Huntington's disease, or Tourette's syndrome. They include drugs such as Risperdal, Haldol, Abilify, and Seroquel. Psychotropic drugs are also overused and misused to treat people living with dementia. The category of psychotropic drugs includes antipsychotics as well as antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs, and hypnotics. Antipsychotic drugs, when prescribed for older people with dementia, can have serious medical complications, including loss of independence, over-sedation, confusion, increased respiratory infections, falls, and strokes. In 2005, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, issued a black box warning on these drugs because they can increase the risk of death for people with dementia. The FDA requires drug companies to label antipsychotics with their side effects and potential dangers, including the increased risk of death in older adults. Antipsychotics are not clinically indicated to treat for dementia-related psychosis, and there are not any medications approved for this purpose. They are associated with a significant increase in death when given to older people with dementia. People living with Lewy body dementia are highly sensitive to antipsychotics. According to the Lewy Body Dementia Association, severe neuroleptic sensitivity affects up to 50% of the patients with Lewy body dementia who are treated with traditional antipsychotic medications and is characterized by worsening condition, sedation, increased or possibly irreversible acute onset Parkinsonism, or symptoms resembling neuroleptic malignant syndrome, which can be fatal. People living with dementia and their care partners often assume that those who regularly work with those with dementia understand it, but the truth is that many do not. There is a lack of understanding about what dementia is, the different types of dementia and their symptoms, and the appropriate responses and approaches that are required. As a result, misdiagnosis and the inappropriate use of medications occur routinely. Systems of care have been built using a medical, institutional perspective, and this focuses attention on what's wrong with people living with dementia and seeks to fix it. This approach needs to be peeled back layer by layer while focusing on relationship building, communication, and empowering the many remaining strengths of people living with dementia. In our society, we have developed the expectation of quick fixes. This is true in medical care as well. Physicians are expected to prescribe a drug to quickly address any problem. Antipsychotic drugs are mistakenly used as a quick fix to reduce unwanted behaviors in people with dementia. When we are talking about dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, we have been taught to think that challenging behaviors are bad. We often think challenging behaviors are a problem that we have to fix and make go away. We've been looking at challenging behaviors as the problem and trying to make people living with dementia behave the way we want them to in ways that are more convenient 
and comfortable to us. There is an even bigger problem. For 70 plus years, doctors and nurses have been taught to use tranquilizers to try to make patients behave, that is, conform to the rules, norms, and routines of the environment. And the healthcare environments are inflexible, confusing, and often scary to most patients, even those without dementia or Alzheimer's disease. The drugs sedate people with dementia so that not only their behavior, but also the underlying causes for that behavior are not understood and addressed. Dr. Al Power says, I remain firmly rooted in the belief that most distress arises as expressions of unmet needs and that drugs are not the answer. We must be proactive and prevent much of the use and misuse of antipsychotic and psychotropic drugs.